I haven't done shit. Did you shout out the music again? I'm learning what Fiend Script does. It seems like it, it locks down a guy. Oh shoot. You can watch it in your browser. It's too. loading with Lumi. I think it's the Dota. Is there on Dota Cinemas YouTube? Man, I think of know. think of all the think of all the, the value they're getting. That's that's yeah. good value right there. Um, so guys, let us know. Unfortunately, there is two minutes delay, which means <laughs> all all of these faux pas <laughs> <laughs> music will be off. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Keep music on. People don't people don't listen to music. Not us, apparently. So tree and OD. This is how you make OD and win game. OD win games. Yes. There's not like a five melee draft, so Trent not as strong. In He's fact, there's SF Storm Spirit, so heroes that don't really care too much for Trent Protector in general. Mm -hmm. I actually want to just talk a little bit about Next KZ because they're a team that it's near and dear to my heart. I felt like they're a team that was so close to breaking it, to because they were definitely invited in the Western qualifiers, and they were close to to me at least winning it until I think it was uh, MTW led by Sindarin that took the whole qualifier, and yep. then that was the slot that they took, but. Next KZ has some insane play style. They were playing uh, Rasta or Shadow Shaman. They were playing Ursa. Uh, when both these heroes weren't really those that, that Radiant big of a hero. So I see some of these names I still recognize. Mantis, Stallcat were, were kind of the big names for the team. Dyer it looks like we have some new blood on the team. So hopefully that they could kind of break back into the competitive scene because I feel like these are very, very good players. Yeah, these guys, they... It's like you say, been around a while, they've come close to sort of being on the top level a couple of times, and they went through periods where they were actually fairly dominant, so... Mm -hmm. Well... Let's let's see what they can do here, it's it's their moment to bounce back. Hopefully everyone in, in chat is, uh... You know, speaking of music, everybody kept the music. Remember that two-week period where Valve had random... random epic music playing in the middle <laughs> of the game? Like, you would be yeah. de-warding and suddenly just, like... Orchestrate a fanfare comes on. What happened to that? Yeah, I missed that. Well, but, I uh, think I think the music should be gone. I hope the music's gone. I think there's actually headphones I can listen to in the production PC. Do you, you like want to go, go double check and make yeah, sure? We'll, we'll double check. <laughs> <laughs> They're learning. We're learning spells and learning production. Everyone, prepare for battle. Please don't stop the music. Is it still on? I know the music's still on. We're getting the... There's no music. So we're just getting the hell trolled out of us. You know what? I'm going to just go on a BTS stream and listen to it. Because nobody's reliable here. Definitely... What? Are you sure? Do I, do I need to do this? I don't know. Be led by Sindarin that took the whole qualifier. There's no music. It's Twitch chat. Twitch chat just trolled. There was never music. There was new Okay. We no, I'm pretty sure there was by music. Twitch All right, chat. My we, we production gotta, has been flawless. We gotta get back in BTS here. is as professional as ever. We gotta hit hit a new low. Calibra yeah. is gonna be playing Mirana up top here. We have Mania. Is this gonna be that off game pain <laughs> element? So no, no, he's going support. All right. Well, I say that, but you say that you don't you don't really know. And then we're gonna have uh, Fata gonna game. be playing solo yeah. mid. We have Mego playing support darks. No, carry darks here on the bot lane. And look at Tree says Stallcat, get off the mother effing rune <laughs> and slaps him a couple of times. They're playing hot potato Ooh. with the sleep. Ooh. Ooh, that's that's. So you don't know. Yesterday when we casted this team playing, they did a off lane solo bane. It was Miggle playing him, I believe, and yes. it was just like straight up one v one against a life stealer. against a life stealer, and, and we have learned that it beats life stealers. <laughs> <laughs> when you have tree armor, tree armor beats a lot of things. Yes, including life stealer. Yeah, including life stealer. All right. Meanwhile, here introducing our next KZ. We have Mantis playing solo mid Reeves gonna be backing him up on the mid lane, at least for now. Dual lane mid is a situation that, or not a situation, something that they have tried against OD mid, but it really doesn't seem like it works, but we'll see in a bit. Up on top lane here, it's gonna be D WTF playing on Storm Spirit. On the bot lane, it's gonna be Stallcat on Bounty Hunter, and in the jungle, it's gonna be equal. 
This is a really Check. dangerous lane for the, the Storm Spirit. One sleep to set up an arrow and he could be in a lot of trouble. It could just be straight up death if it's anything like a, a, a near full duration stun duration. Yeah, I think it's a little bit more uh, more likely to have that setup if you have a carry Bane in the lane and support Marana because, yeah. you know, the, the Marana is very close right now and the, the Bane is very far away. So I don't think you're going to find those uh, nightmares as easily as you want. As for the two next KZ supports, they're quite happy just to uh, spend some time jungling actually together. Rubik, I feel, needs to sort of get up to towards the top lane just to get vision of what where Bane is, what he's up to. Uh, I'd, alternatively, they go for a very early smoke gank, which could happen towards the mid lane or could be on this Marana at top. I mean, they do have three, four heroes. I mean, if you count this, the, the Satera, but at the same time, he's... he's the Satera's not exactly the best ganking creep. Here we go, it's going to be a long range arrow. That's going to hit on Reeves, and... Well, the right click will ensue. They don't have anything else. Leap four, perhaps, for the movement speed. Now he drops the Fable. That's going to be first, but Calera, nice. Oh, so I'm sure if he's going to... Ooh, he's going to have to leap, and he disjoins the last two attacks. South, and well, back up. Nicely done. Yeah, very well played. Bane is going to sort of uh, skirt around the jungle as well. Get, get around here, pop a Clarity, and be ready to go with another Nightmare very, very soon. So. Ooh, Hastrin gets picked up here. That's, go that's going to be a free kill. I mean, you mentioned he's far and he needs to get nice and close. Well, that's exactly what can get him close. There is a Chen at the top lane, though, so he can kind of zone Ooh, the Bane he away. Leap. He doesn't have Leap, and there he go. Calera is going to take a ton of damage, and he is going to go down to a couple more physical right click, oh. or a Shockwave that's going to be chasing him. Like, oh, nice oh, magic. Or not magic. Wasn't it going to be enough? Shockwave damage wouldn't have been enough anyways. Yeah. And and the Storm was thing. short, like, four mana there. If he had one more Revenant, he gets the kill. He doesn't need the Revenant. What he needed is the Overload charge, and he didn't have he didn't have the mana to use that Revenant. Yeah, and well, back they go here. You can see that Mania is looking for the uh, Sleep, but at the same time, keep in mind that the Micro Satyr could walk in the way of that arrow. Yeah, or just it. take the Sleep off. Yeah, oh sure. Well, actually, I don't think the, the Creep can, right? Or can he? I'm not sure. Yes, yes, yes he, he can. can. Actually, that's what pro trans do all the time. <laughs> you know, what am I doing? Cat, so that, that cat we're just casuals, is, Lumi. Yeah, that production is just uh, scaring me. But back in the middle lane, how is Shadowfin doing? If you think about it, once Shadowfin gets enough physical damage, can he kind of rival the damage out output of OD? If he gets enough lasses, that is. Ah, wow, this SF is getting destroyed, though, as far as CS goes. I'm actually surprised it's this bad. This matchup, to me, comes down to the first creep wave. This F SF gets... Two, three, four souls in the first cre first creep wave or so, he's fine. But if he doesn't, then there's no real catching up once OD gets some level and you don't have the soul. So it looks like SF just had the worst start possible because right now, only six souls to his name. I mean, he had Reeves backing him up in the mid lane for quite a bit. So yeah. he, in theory, he should have been getting those uh, CS. But if you look at him right now, he's he's got, what, six CS to his name? He's going Fountain? No, no, no. no. Uh, he's trying to block, block. block it uh, closer to his tower. But okay. yeah, he's losing the lane very handily. On the bottom here, it's going to be now Trian left alone. In fact, the Darkseer jungling, they're giving Effing Matt a ton of levels by himself. This is not something that we see too often, but Stalkat doing a very good job in terms of zoning him away. He's using Living Armor to heal himself, I guess. And when you're using Living Armor to heal yourself, well, Living Armor is not really where it's at. Yeah, OD's probably saying he wants it at the mid lane. It's just, this harass onto Mantis is just brutal. Yeah. And Mantis is one of those solo mid players who I think really has stood out in the past as being just one of like the top Western solo mids, sort of on an unknown team, but he dominates his lane so many times. But this this matchup is just not one he's very happy with. Again, very, very underrated. You play solo mid, that's not even that good. Like Rasa, Shadow Shaman back in those days. Those are not power solo mids, but he makes it work. And right now, in a very, very oppressive matchup. Nobody wins this matchup. Not even Dendi. It's just, it's just insane. And yeah. Fata is destroying him right now. Well, the next Kizzy have managed to pre prevent this Bane Marana from getting any further damage on the top lane. No more kills going the way of this uh, Mal's Quantic team. Uh, Calevra, or Soxa, as he's known, uh, is farming away on his Marana. We'll have phase boots very early, which helps him a ton with lasting as well as harassing. I, rushing phase, I feel, is like the best way to play the Marana. Yeah, I mean, there's many different builds in the past. I think it was Demon that started like phase Lincoln's fair build, yeah. which uh, on second thought may not be so good. But the phase boot part really stuck. I mean, you really need the early game damage output. Her early game right clicks aren't too, aren't too impressive. And now she's got it. Allows you to chase a lot more effective between your auto attacks as well. Okay. Well, uh, this the trialing with the, the well the Rubik Chen, they haven't succeed in ganking much. Do you feel they are okay with Chen just farming, or do they need to try and use this smoke that the Chen has, get a gank on the OD, or get a kills at top lane, or uh, is it just the farming of the jungle fine for now? I think as a team, uh, next KZ really starts off slow. They start off when they get level 6s on everybody. So you look to your bounty hunter, right? He doesn't do much 1 to 5. Same thing with Chen. I mean, yeah, you can gank and you can maybe push a tower, but why not just get a quick level 6 and make sure that 
Uh, you once once your ganks are happening, it's gonna be a lot more effective. Stalkat's just having a very tough time with Miggle, who's just tower diving right now. Stalkat goes into Windwalk, and well, he's not really gonna get the last under tower either. He's having a very very tough time. Yeah, Miggle just hoping to get a bit lucky with the guessing as far as positioning. They're doing a bit more harass. Mantis is gonna find a rune here. He's got oh. boot before bottle. That's how bad this lane's gone. He may just straight up die here. No, Mantis does not. Well, sorry, uh, Darkseid does not want to fight Mantis. A uh, bit of a surprise there, Miggle. Yeah. Wasn't that, even a DDSF at this point is it's not that scary. Yeah, I mean, he's hitting close to 120, but at the same time, you got living armor and two hero backing you up, so I'm surprised he backed off. And uh, that's going to allow Stalkat to kind of roam off the lane. He's maxed his Shuriken Toss. Back to the Chen in the jungle. He's level 4.5, so not there just yet. And also, at the same time, though, you got to keep on that Rubik's getting some decent levels. Stormster is getting his level, level 6. This entire team just wants to have level 6. I do want to say that Stormster has got a very, very unique skill build. He's maxing the overload first, which just means that you're going to be using your ball lining quite a bit. It's a very mana intensive build, and it's a build that's not really too good at ganking, so we'll see how it's going to play this one out. Yeah, having only just the level 1 in the pool means you're not guaranteed to have the Revenant actually land all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the disable duration also all not, not, not all that oppressive, but I guess they're not, he's not expecting to get too many kills against the Mirana. He'd rather just save, be as cost effective with his harass as possible, which means Revenant, level 1 costs the least mana, and you get an overload, over, overload, overload. charge, which yeah. you can use to hit. Bounty Hunter's rotated mid. Bounty's level 7 here, so he really wants to start getting some kills. Track gold going the way of his team. And uh, we'll have to see if he can find anything here at the mid lane on the OD. Yeah, I think they are going to get OD. All they need is a hit and a track. And here we go. The track's going to be up. And now Reef's going to get the movement speed. But here comes a tree protector. He doesn't have overgrowth. Just a huge ultimate comes in. And here comes a storm surge. He wants Epic Mad. He's a very, very tanky target. Calero's in the middle. He gets one kill. He's looking for a second kill. Zip away. Dodges the arrow. But phase boots. It's going to be enough to chase him down. I think one more hit. And yeah, that's going to be the one last hit that he gets. Meanwhile, the chase goes on the other way. Stallcat going for the chase. He can turn around for an orb hit. Oh my god, he's so close to dying Five here. 5 HP. 5 HP. Stout shield magic. It's going to be happening. Bane comes around. He's out of mana as well. Ooh, jukes in the trees. Left and right he goes. And now he wants equal. Equal is going to be dead as well. Bounty Hunter. <laughs> he's got, okay, he's got a shadow walk in uh, 3 mana. So he should be okay. Either that or he waits for TP mana. Looks like he's just going to wait to TP home. Because he doesn't want to use that. Shadow walk and walk home. Well, who came ahead in that? The scoreboard oh, clearly absolutely suggests radiant. radiant. Yeah. yeah, that OD got a ton of damage output. He was meant to die fast, so then they could move on, mm -hmm. find another target. But he stayed alive way too long, got off his ultimate, and just decimated the next KZ squad in the middle lane. Yeah, I really like what Fata de did there. He basically just ran into lane, or sorry, when he got engaged upon, he didn't just run. He just says, I know I'm going to die. Let me do as much damage as possible. And even with that, he had living armor on him. So he was just so tanky. Was able to burst a couple of people down. Mania up on the top line here. Well, it's going to be a nightmare into an arrow, and a star, star storm is going to come through, and they are going to get yet another kill. So, Mantis having no luck anywhere he goes, and when you have a Shadow Fiend that can't get off the ground, you don't have a Shadow Fiend. When you have a Storm Spirit that can't get off the ground, you don't have a Storm Spirit. Yeah. These are snowball based heroes. Gonna I, try to I get think SF less snowball based. I've seen SF's come back before. Well, oh uh, no, Living Armor was uh, caught off. Nothing mad is well, Leechy comes on. They're gonna try to burst around. Look at Tree Protector. He was gonna stand his ground and slap the storm around. They barely get the kill, but here comes Miggle. Miggle may just straight up kill this Storm Spirit. Storm has been mounted as a vacuum, there's enough damage. Here comes Bounty though. Miggle needs to surge now and he's not gonna do so in time. Looks like next season we'll get a second kill at bottom lane, and that this one a trap kill as well. So that was a that was a big deal here for next case. Yeah. Bounty under getting himself a ton of extra gold and support Rubik hitting himself attack. level six. So that's yeah. pretty. That big was a level well. nine dark two that they killed. Oh wow, how is he level nine? I guess the mid engagement and it solo kills as well. Like yeah. that was just a solo kill there on the storm. So okay, but. I really like the fact that though they're giving a ton of uh, experience to the tree and protector because I've seen tree and protectors run Dyer's around the, the game like level five ish. 5 minutes in, or sorry, 12 minutes in, you really want that level 7 as soon as possible, and he's going to get that on the bot lane. Well, Marana already finishing up a Yasha with the phase boots as well as the Wraith Band. This is a very far Marana. Speaking of the OD, it's, yeah, Mech is going to come soon, and with that, the, the sort of the fighting potential for this Radiant team gets scary and scary. They've had the Treant armor. We have seen Treant hit level 6 now as well at the bottom Dyer's lane, so there's overgrowth coming into play. Mm -hmm. I I definitely have to agree. The Storm Spirit, who's under leveled and behind, is not going to be able to offer a whole lot. SF can't offer a whole lot as far as fighting goes, but he can catch up okay with some neutral stacking. Some SF is just a good flash farmer in general, I feel. Yes, yes. But he needs to spend time farming, which means Bounty Hunter is not going to be able to do a whole lot. If his teammates just want to farm, Bounty can't get kills.
Yeah, and right now they're looking for kills as Dyer's two, you know, bounties uh, joined by the Storm Surge, but at the same time, they don't kill quickly enough. That's the issue that you always have against the Storm Surge. He's gonna run to the mid lane, and Fata will see it right now. He's at the Sentry Ward. There you go. He actually came out of Invis there, so maybe they don't even realize it's a Sentry Ward because Ooh. of that Invis timing. Grip onto the Storm Spirit. He's gonna take a fall. I believe Sanity's Eclipse. Chen, I think, used the Hand of God there to try to keep him alive. OD now. He's on the run. He's Invis up, even though he's tracked, though. And uh, we'll see. A sleep on the Centaur War Team. I think he actually toggled no. the sleep off someone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, okay. on, it was on the uh, the Rubik, and he, he got it off him. Right now, he's looking to drop his own Sanity Split. By the way, Reese has stolen one, so if they have enough burst damage, Arrow's not going to connect right there. Just not enough damage output. Just so much healing coming out just from the Tree and Protector alone. Yeah. Kalevra chasing down Reeves. Can he juke left? Juke right? Physical damage is just huge here. The arrow is going to... Oh, there's going to be... That's a dead guy. He might as well drop that ultimate. No, no he's, he's got no mana. He's going to get picked off as well. Can he actually get a track return kill? Nicely done. Well... Yeah. Trying to walk away further for the arrow. <laughs> but uh, I think they're going to get the kill. Yeah, Move they've one. got the sentry ward. Oh, you got to go deeper. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, don't hit the Roche. <laughs> he thought they had vision further. They, he, he didn't oh, he wanted to deny himself. He didn't realize he'd just gotten out of the sentry ward vision. So he's yes. like, oh, i got to deny myself. It wasn't about, it wasn't a misclick, it was like, a, oh, I, w I need to deny myself because they see me. Yeah. But he just got out of vision, so... Oh, poor guy, man. Yeah, I, well, I feel for him. The next case, he's having enough time. So I talked about next case, he's not having enough damage because of the, uh, the Tree Protector. They definitely won't have it to deal with the now OD mech on uh, Fata. So I really think what they need to do is just farm and maybe try to defend their towers. And, I mean, to be honest, if you look at these kills happening, it's just like random straight-up ganks or... Even better, counter ganks coming out from uh, the Mal's flip side Quanti Quad. They just have to kind of back off and play passive, despite the, ha the despite the fact having heroes like Bounty and Storm, they can't really go on people. Yeah, it's they just don't have the items. Oh, arrow not going to land as there was actually an Ooh. astral imprisonment coming at an awkward time. Tau going to get denied by the storm. He's going to zip in, look for Dream Protector. Can he get off an ultimate? No overgrowth for him. And now OD trying to go to work on this bounty hunter with a grip. He should get the kill. Living armor defensively from Rubik, but it wasn't Fata enough. Fata needs more mana right now. He hasn't had any procs on his own. Oh, vacuum arrow, but unfortunately <laughs> grabbing some of the Chen creeps involved. And again, uh, trading one for one is okay. At the same time, Radiant's you know, it's not really okay. They just want to be defensive. You don't want to really trade. They don't want to be... And the thing is, they're forced to bring the SF and Storm Spirit constantly to these fights, or at least the Storm Spirit. SF did find a bit of space at top lane mm -hmm. to finish off his treads, but Storm is like, look, we're not... We're just going to lose horribly if I'm not at these fights, so... Yeah. He's just going, it looks like, the Null Talisman build, and we talked about this. There's no such thing as Null Talisman gaming. There's <laughs> Bracer gaming, but there's no Null Talisman gaming. I mean, for a Storm Spirit, that is equivalent of, hey, guys... Not doing well, let's just make sure that we have enough mana to pull off our spells, and then yeah. you know, see how it goes. By the way, Rubik got himself uh, living armor, so that's not too bad Radiant's to make him, his entire team a lot tankier. It, it's, I feel like it's still more a sort of first 10 minutes laning stage type spell. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's nice for the little bit of heals, maybe heal up some towers in general, but Radiant's it's not going to be a big attack. game, a, even team fight decider in any context. It's actually fairly decent against like a Phoenix Grip, for example, if th the Phoenix Grip is the only part of damage output. You yeah. actually block most of it, Radiant's but at the same time you have things like Iron Shot and just attack. a lot of spells that, that will go through it. And at the same time, it's like you said, uh, the big part of it is a global spell that can help Dyer's your allies during the harassment stage or the attack. laning stage. And we're, we're much, much beyond that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Miggle with uh, up to 1,800 gold ha had this Midas accelerating his XP <laughs> and farm. <laughs> Why not? Uh, Midas Gaming, man. That's definitely a thing. Yeah. Double Tornado coming out from these Chen Wildkins. He'll vacuum just to, to cancel those. Yeah, those are annoying. Living Armor is bringing it, slowing it down. Darkseid yeah. is going to get the last of the swallow. So, 2,400 go here on Darkseid. Get guesses? that Battle Fury up. Uh, I like Blinks myself, but uh, Battle Fury is legit. Um, you know what I like a lot? Radiance on Darkseid. Iron Shell Vacuum and Radiance. You clear Crew Wave like no other, man. Oh, it's, it's a it's very farm Darkseid, that's for sure. Yeah, that's another Tower last. He's such Necro a Book. Oh, Alright, you can't. I, I wish you could rush Necro Book on heroes, but you just can't do it because of how powerful Home of Dominator is against yes, it. Yes. Yeah. Like, imagine if you get a 20 minute Necro Book 3 on a Darkseer. That's legit good. Except they just steal it with the Helm of Dominator. So it's not legit good anymore. Yeah. It's it, just bad. It, but I feel like it would it'd be, make the item, like, a viable competitive item if you could do that, but. I mean, at, there was a point in time where that was the thing, right? I will talk about that later. Storm Spirit is going to be fighting again. They're zipping, trying to dodge a hero on Kalevra. Oh, no! No, oh, no, no, Storm! No. He, that, he no. said he was going to get a sneaky TP <laughs> off. 
Zip! <laughs> that was not a zip. <laughs> I'm just so confused at what's going on right now. Well, Sox, he knows what's going on right now for the most part. Well, he knows he needs to get one more right click off there at the end. He gets it. He's 6 0 and 3. He's, He's going a... SMY. This is a real Murana, bro. Or is it just like a Yasha BKB? Oh, Yasha BKB is also. Why you know BKB? Why you need BKB? I think it's a Yasha BKB personally, but I'd be I'd be happy with a Sanjin Yasha. Yeah, he's got enough gold to buy the Sanjin Yasha, and he's not buying it, so it's gonna be a BKB. Well, Fata himself, uh, he's got the 2.2k gold. Probably looking at a full stuff on his Outworld Devourer. Free kill time? No. He, he needs looking mana. For a proc. Yeah, he's he, looking he for a really proc. needs some procs here. He's lost. He no longer has buckler. He no longer has tranquil boots. Where does he get these procs Gotta from? Gotta pop that mech. Mech's so expensive, man. Yeah, Dyer's exactly. 150 mana. Buckler's like what, 25. Something like that. Tranquil boots is 25. Ooh, long arrow. Vacuum gonna come from the uh, from the side there. Miggle, knocking this tower. He's rich, but not any richer. Sox is actually the one who gets it. He's up to 2.7k gold, so just 200 away from a BKB, and it, you just see next KZ. They're just not even attempting to defend a single tower. They just <laughs> and and the radiant team are just stopping every single wildkin tornado that's being cast. Those wildkin tornadoes. They hate wildkins. Yo, th those are legit tower defense. Tower denied. Not gonna happen here. Fata destroys this one. Fata still out of mana. He's had some bad RNG. No, at this point I just uh oh, Fata, Fata still not getting the RNG prox. At this point I just I gonna have to ask: Is next eight or is is the flip side Quantic Mousepore lineup this good, or are they perhaps facing some not as good opponents? I think they're pretty solid, but I feel like this game they're they're versing a, a, a fairly a weaker opponent. We are gonna see bigger top lane. He's I don't so think he's getting under this. Yeah. Wall of Replica, uh, come, maybe if you could use that right off the bat, it could help him out. But uh, yeah, the, the Storm Spirit rotations there. SF actually working towards the BKB. I think in XKZ, always, they remind me of like a individually talented, individually talented players, but just not a team. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're seeing a bit of that here, it feels like. Nice like shadow being activated. Looks like they're going to try to initiate on the top lane here. Storm Spirit think, thinks he's safe. Arrow. Here comes the arrow into a Star Storm. Yep. And a solo kill from the water. He could have even got the tower. Oh first. no! Oh no! Did he learn his lesson last time? No, he didn't. No, he didn't, Lumi. Well then, he is about 40 seconds to relearn that lesson as he's dead in the fountain. Oh, Fat is going to go straight for an ultimate orb into a side of the vice for going the uh, the four staff here. Don't need four staff. I uh, sure why not? You having the disable against the storm would be fantastic. Both storm and SF will be going BKBs, but Hex is actually in some ways good against BKBs because yeah. it's something you, if you want to crank gank them and you don't have that lead off stun, well, which they kind of have with a Bane Nightmare or a Fiend Trip, but it's still a good item to have in general. Ooh, arrow missing it just barely. He's gonna go for this anyways. He's got yeah. this crazy. Oh, but the defensive living armor. What a player. <laughs> Freeze. Casting a global. This time level four. Last time was only level three when he stole it. Are they gonna do a little bit of D ward? No, not there. Guess it wrong. So, Radiant team, they go for Roshan, do you think? Or are they just gonna look to push high ground soon? They've got a big, big lead here. Yeah, I think they could do whatever they want. Like, they could start building pro items that they want. They're, this game, to me, is just out of contest. Yes, oh, never mind. Here comes Mania. Can he get the pull off? Nightmare trying to get the invulnerability, but he's just gonna get the blown up. There's one kill. Stalkat's gonna eat the arrow to the face. Well, here comes a huge Sanity Eclipse. And that's why this game is over. The damage output is absolutely insane. Calera, ooh, is there? These still a decent amount of HP though. Rubik is like a third HP, and everyone else has got even more than that. OD though is just too fast here. He's surged up. He's chasing down Chen. He's getting yeah. blocked by creeps so SF will get brought down in the middle lane though. And next KZ, they're behind eight kills to seventeen now. All they could get was a, a mere Bane kill. Yeah, and Bane was completely out of position. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so it wasn't really even. It wasn't really a kill. So. Walking through the wall, they're gonna siege on the high ground. Not exactly a be best high ground sieging team, but it'll do, it'll do. So it seems like from what we saw out of a uh, couple of yesterday and, and today's game, it seems like Bane Elemental is a big part of the Mouseport Quantic and Crazy lineup. And they like the OD Treant type pick. Yeah, they do. Um, effing Mad, showing that a lot of what Go Black used to pick uh, in the old Quantic is actually stuff that he wants to keep on playing here with this new squad. Yeah. And that we're seeing. Like, you, you don't like the OD much, but... They do. They definitely yeah, do. Soulcat gonna get gripped 
and the damage output is there, so I think GG's gonna call, come out yeah. very, very, very strong. The other thing we're seeing from them is very unconventional lanes. Like, they're doing dual lanes in the off offensive dual lane, yes. like the Bane Marana, and then just weird safe lane heroes. Like, safe lane farming Darkseer, off lane solo Bane, and I don't I don't think this is stuff they're doing just because they're, they're trolling. I think this is stuff they legitimately so think through and decide, hey, this landing set will actually work. Yeah, it's a new style they want to try, and look at SF trying to get these kills, but Fata defensively disrupted, keeping him alive here. Remnant gonna get dropped, but just a little bit out of position. Storm's gonna dip for that kill, and Living Armor Dota, guys, get out of here! Tree and too strong. That was a nightmare being toggled by Mania as well, saving the ally. Normally it's Tree doing the other way around, but... Damn. Ooh. Only one minute, G. That was, that was a cool little strategy coming out. You see another... Look, not even pocket strategy, just outside of the box thinking from mm -hmm. effing mad with these drafts, and more importantly, the lanes. Like, you have the Darkster in the safe lane farming, gets a Midas, goes to the jungle, and gives Tree up the lane. So, yeah. giving farm and lanes to all the heroes, the only hero that seemed like a true support was maybe the Bane. At the top lane, he spent a lot of time actually not in the lane, not getting much experience. But, but he got experience by getting kills. Yeah. Yeah, he was, he was involving in the first bloods and whatnot. So, yeah, impressive, impressive Dota coming out from the mouse. Flip side Quantic lineup, and uh, we'll be back for game number two. And let's see if X next KZ could kind of pull something together because they need to. This game was just nothing short of a domination coming out from uh, Quantic Flipside and whatever. <laughs> we we really need a name. But until then, we'll be back for game two.